G'day everyone, thanks for joining us and hope you're well. Sim Update 3 is out, as we know, version 1.5.27.0. And uh, before I put that 5090 in, uh, I want to do another benchmark test with the 3090 Ti. Uh, I've run it before, recently. Uh, check that video out uh, in Sim Update 2. And now I want to see if there's any performance difference with Sim Update 3. Uh, so I'll go back in and I'll do the same configuration settings as what I did in that previous video and just compare. And then after that, I'll be putting the 5090 in and doing some upgrades there. And then I'll come back and uh, do another one with the 5090 in for Sim Update 3. So we'll be able to compare Sim Update 2 3090, Sim Update 3 3090, and Sim Update 3. 5090. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are, as you can see, 4K on the front, DLSS super resolution, quality mode, frame gen is off, and my monitor rate is set at 100%. Uh, and that is a 60 Hertz uh, TVs, so 60 frames effectively. Uh, running at 100% there. So global rendering quality is set at the default position of medium. The only thing I'm going to change is the anisotropic filtering. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, that is the only change. Everything else is set at default medium, as you can see as we scroll down through there. Okay, so the only other thing we'll look at is just to make sure that we've got the two sides on. Remember, we're running the first test that's a 2K side, and that's a 2K side, both windowed. Come back, and uh, let's now go and have a look at Boston. So I'm going to go over to 60, wherever I can find it. There it is there. That's the departure point. Nope, not 60, yep. Parking 60, ramp GA medium. That's where we go. I want to set, make sure those flight conditions are right. Uh, so I'm going to set that time to... As close to midday as I can get it. Uh, that'll do pretty close. We'll bring it up to midday. So from a weather point of view, we're going to run this as scattered cloud, as you can see there. Okay, so we're running at 12 o'clock, scattered cloud, Boston at 60. So that's the default setting, and I won't go into that again. So each of the tests will run through. So let's go now. Save that and start the flight. We're in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Down we go, and let's see what this has got to offer. We know full well with a triple screen, we should be GPU limited. I'm expecting us to be GPU limited, uh, and I'm expecting to be sub 30 FPS. Okay, running the medium test now with the medium settings, 4K on the front and 2K on the sides. GPU limited. Already 28 frames per second. Uh, this is with Sim Update 3. Same configuration settings as Sim Update 2 in the previous video. We're running at about 9.2 gigabytes of the 24 gigs available uh, for the 3090 Ti. Uh, CPU seems to be fine, GPU limited as expected. Here we are for the second test now. We're running triple 4K screens on the medium settings. Frame rate really hasn't moved that much. And I'm noticing a marginal increase in the RAM up to about 9.3, uh, which is interesting. Okay, so here we are now with the high-end settings and we're running 4K on the front, 2K on the sides, everything else is the same. We've got a VRAM jump on the GPU up to now 12.12 gigabytes, seems to be stabilizing, and frame rate in the order of 20 frames per second, as you can see. Uh, again, as expected, GPU bottlenecking all the way through. Um, yeah, sitting at about 20. Let's go to... 4K triples and see if there's any difference.
Okay, here we are now, 4K triple screens on the high settings, and again, not much movement really um, between the 2K sides and the 4K on the sides. Uh, GPU RAM sitting at about 12.1, 12.12, uh, so just on just under half, or just over half there, or about half. Uh, as you can see, frame rate sitting at about 20 uh, on the frame rate, so really again not not a playable experience uh but yeah 20. here we are on ultra uh, this is with a 2k on the sides and a 4k front screen and frame rate drops again down to 15 uh, and gpu memory now into the yellow zone 15.2 with a, of an available 18 so it's starting to really chew into that gpu as well uh, but yeah i mean this was be completely unplayable now um, Let's go to the triple 4K. I don't suspect it'll change that much between the 2K and the 4K on the sides, but let's have a look. Just on 15, about 15.2, 15.3 for triple 4K in ultra with the 3090 Ti. We've got VRAM jumping again up to 15.45. About 15.4, 15.45 on the GPU, and again, as we was expected, bottlenecking uh, through the through the GPU. Interestingly, the main thread now is also into the yellow zone as well. So, it'll be interesting to see with the 5090 in uh, whether it switches the bottleneck back to the CPU. I'm kind of hoping it will. So one of the last tests that I want to do is, as was done in the previous video, and that was to do this with frame generation on and a two times frame multiplier. Let's do that test now, running this as triple 4K and see where we go. All right, so we're getting about 26, 26 frames per second with a GPU memory of about 16.5, 16.5 on the GPU memory. Yeah, 25, 26 frames with a GPU memory of uh, about 16.4, 16.5. Uh, interesting. Right, I think I'll put a table up now and show the comparison between Sim Update 2 settings and Sim Update 3 just for comparison. Uh, I don't think there's a lot in it, uh, but I'll show that now and we'll see where we go. So I want to run one more suite of tests whilst I've got the 3090 in and before we move over to the 5090 for interest's sake and that is to run through the NVIDIA DLSS super resolution settings uh, through ultra performance, performance balanced, uh, quality and DLAA uh, just to check that frame rate and that performance generally uh, park where we are now. Uh, I'll also run a TAA setting as well uh, just for those that are interested. So with ultra performance uh, mode in DLSS, we're getting about 18. The frame gen's been turned off, by the way, in all these tests. 18.5 uh, GPU memory sitting at about 14, uh, interestingly, of the 18 uh, available. Uh, so, and RAM memory's fine. Okay, here's the performance setting now, running at 16, 16 and a half frames per second. <laughs> really, really low frames here. GPU memory sitting at 15, uh, and again, significantly bottlenecked by the GPU. Yeah, 
here's the balance setting running now. We're getting under 16, 15 and a half, 15.8, sort of bouncing around. GPU memory running at about 15.3, 15.2, 15.25. Gigabytes on the GPU memory, and as expected, bottlenecking through the GPU. DLSS quality mode now, and again, another drop as the quality and the resolution improves. Uh, going through those settings, we're now sitting at probably about 15 frames per second. Now, bearing in mind uh, that OBS is taking about 10, uh, 8 to 10 frames by recording an OBS. So we need to take that into consideration. So with all of these, I think we need to validate that by saying that there is an extra 8 to 10 frames in this if I wasn't recording through OBS. Uh, so that does need to be considered. Uh, GPU memory running at about 15.8 gigabytes. 15.75, uh, 15. No, it's just dropped down to 15.72. Uh, so it looks like it's stabilising at about 15.7 gigabytes of memory. 15 frames per second on the quality mode, triple 4K. Resource usage exceeds GPU memory capacity. Lower the graphics settings or do something else, as you saw from that uh, little notice there. So again, this is now not something that this wants to struggle with and the GPU memory has gone into red zone. Uh, so at a DLLA, a DLAA setting is simply uh, not going to work with the triple 4K uh, in with the 3090, uh, which was expected. Um, GPU memory now red, red zoning, it's ex exhausting all of it and then some really struggling, 8 frames a second, uh, looks like a PC is about to blow up. So that is definitely not going to work for the DLAA setting. It's be interesting to see uh, what happens when we get the 5090 in uh, using that uh, and how it looks. Let's just try that with frame gen and see if there's any difference. Well, there's a marginal increase, but as expected, not much. Uh, frame gens managed to get me an extra, what, five or six, up to about 14 frames per second there. GPU memory is completely maxed out. And it's now trying to get just under 20 gigabytes uh, to feed into the simulator and purely not functioning at all. So for those of you that, are got, uh, for those of you that have a 14900K and are running a 3090 Ti and you're expecting to get triple 4K uh, with some pretty decent frame rates and good quality resolution, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, you will be turning those settings down. You're looking, in summary, I think, uh, medium at best and probably in that balanced area. So an interesting set of results there, uh, as you can see between uh, what we had in the Sim Update 2 and Sim Update 3. I didn't change any of the other settings. I haven't changed any of the graphical drivers or anything uh, from between Sim Update 2 and Sim Update 3. What I'll do next is I'll actually put the 5090 in, still keeping the same graphical drivers and DLSS settings and so on to not change any variables there and compare the 5090's performance in Sim Update 3 back to uh, where we are with the 3090 uh, as we are here today. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, look forward to catching up with you on the next one and bye for now.